Hey guys, this is Yuyu. Um, so I haven't been posting shopping haul videos recently and that's mostly because of COVID. Um, my packages were really delayed and then I was stuck at home for two months. So my desire for shopping drastically declined. But today I wanted to share with you guys some of my recent faves and finds. Let's start. So the first item is this super cute ring. It's from a brand called Bon Bon Whims and it's pretty famous on Instagram. Um, I think they were pretty popular starting last year. Their most popular style is like an acrylic material ring. It's very Y2K. Um, I picked one that's a little bit more um, subtle. I usually only wear silver rings like this one. Um, so I wanted to try out and also buy a different colored ring. So I got this white one. Now the second accessory is a, um, I think Chinese brand called Mint Therapy. I need to open it. It's kind of like a bottle cap pattern. I don't know if you can see it, but silver. And what I love about it is the middle part. It has a mint color little gemstone. It's like that. Super pretty. And I think it's really good for summer as well. So the first bag. Ta-da! So it's a um, vintage style black leather handbag. It's from a smaller Chinese brand called Hidemi, or is it High Demi? Not sure. Um, but I think it's super cute. The black leather has feels pretty smooth and pretty good quality. And then I love the silver zipper and also the silver buckles and the bottom part as well. I feel like the sizing is perfect. It's like that. I can still fit in like a makeup bag and my phone and some accessories inside. Okay, next up is an Hermes bag. I don't know about other cities, but in Shanghai, from personal experience, um, I feel like a lot of the salespeople at Hermes are pretty snobby and rude. So I really don't like putting up with that stuff, um, which is why usually when there's a long line at Hermes, I don't line up. I just don't really like the idea of having to beg or please um, salespeople so I can spend my own money. I think that's outrageous. So around a month ago, I was just shopping around and there wasn't a line in front of Hermes. So I walked in and then I saw the bag that I wanted. The salesperson was like, oh yeah, these just arrived. Um, if you want them, like I could pack it for you. So perfect. So it was like a five minute stress-free, drama-free um, shopping experience. So let me unbox this now. So this is the dark navy leather top. And then the bottom part is um, white, black, and green checkers, and it's woven. I don't know if you can see. It's like this at the back, super pretty navy blue. And I think there's a lock inside. A little lock. And then on the inside, there's a navy blue pouch. Um, I really love this colorway, which is why I, I immediately bought it um, when I saw it. Whether it's, you know, like a beach look or even with a trench coat or with denim, it's very versatile, but it's also very eye-catching compared to like a normal black hair bag. I think one downside to this bag is the material itself. Um, I don't know if it's gonna get fuzzy because it's fabric, like woven fabric. First pair are these super cute melissa jelly sandals before honestly i think melissa sandals most of them are pretty tacky um i think it looks kind of cheap with the jelly texture but i really like these because these are solid colored they're not very transparent they look a little bit more i don't know like expensive or like normal shoes i feel like with daily wear most of the heels are a little bit too high for me but these are perfect height um it boosts your height by quite a lot without feeling too uncomfortable. Okay, next up are Jordans. Um, my boyfriend kind of peer pressured me to get these, but I've come to love these. These are the Jordan 4 in the very classic color, Columbia, um, navy and white, it's forever classic. And then with these Jordan 4s, it feels like I don't know, like a part of my childhood is back and it feels quite nostalgic because back then there were a lot of sneakers that were super chunky. Um, now it's a lot more slim and more like the Salomon and like the very Y2K style running shoes. And recently, I don't think at least for females, there are a lot of people wearing Jordans anymore. It's more like maybe the Jordan ones, you know, but not the Jordan fours. 
I think the color is very classic. It's not gonna go out of style. And I think these will go great with either black pants or gray sweats. Next up are um, some heels from one of my favorite high heel brands, Gianvito Rossi. Hopefully I pronounced it right. First pair, I had to get them when I saw it, are these black, super sexy um, PVC pumps. I do agree that sometimes PVC heels look pretty cheap and I know you can get them for a lot cheaper um, with uh, like fast fashion brands, but I love um, the silhouette of these heels and I think black PVC looks much more elegant and expensive than like the transparent clear PVC uh, material. And I think these just add a little bit of edge and sexiness compared to normal black, like full black point toe heels. Next one, I got these on sale. I don't know why they're on sale, but thank you. It's these uh, green ones um, and it's a peak toe. And then the heel height is a lot lower than the previous one. For these, I feel like if I'm on vacation, it'll go really nicely with either a bikini or a really cute summer dress. This time I bought a lot of clothing. Um, so the first one is from Jackmas. It's very not me, cause it's like pink and purple. It's very um, girly and feminine. Next up is a pretty basic white tank. It's just the uh, Marine Serre, Serre, Marine. Sarah, Saray, mm, don't know. Um, tank top with like the little logo um, and stitching. I think it's just something like an everyday tank top. I feel like the fit is like a tote me, um, a tote me white tank, like the classic one, but with the brand logo printed on the front. Next is um, some super cute baby tees from Diesel. So the first one, um, a lot of people ask me on IG when I posted a mirror selfie, like a pattern combo baby tee with um, different graphics and it's in a light baby yellow. This black one, they have the same silhouette. It's just the print is different. And this one is like, they have like the stitchings that's inside out. And for Diesel, I recently love their um, designs and products ever since their new creative director um, onboarded. He used to design for Y Project and I think he really brought the brand back to life. During the early 2000s, it was a really hot brand with all the denim and all these elements, like the Y2K elements. So I'm glad that with Y2K being back into the mainstream, Diesel is also able to um, come back from the dead, kind of. And then next up is a shit ton of different clothes from Meow, it is French for the cat sound Meow. Um, it's pretty popular on Instagram as well, so I wanted to try their products. Um, and I order a bunch of them. So the first one is this um, low waist mini skirt uh, with a slit on the side. I was a bit disappointed um, in this skirt. I thought it was gonna be like a cotton material or with a little bit of spandex. Um, I think that looks pretty hot. But then when I got it, it's like some kind of cheap, non-stretchy Zara blazer material. With this, I feel like I paid over a hundred bucks just for a piece of fabric. But um, with their other items, I really love. So the first one is a set. The top is like this tank top. Pants, it's like the same pattern set. And then I think these look really vintage. It kind of reminds me of China's porcelain for some reason with the color. Yeah, these are super cute and the fit is really nice um, and comfy. I like this fit so much. I bought basically the same style, but in another color. So I got a solid black, um, same low waist cargo pants. And I got the matching black tank top in the same fabric. So it's like a, it's kind of like spandex. So I think it feels pretty um, comfy in the summertime, especially when it's super hot. And then the last piece from Meow um, is this turquoise blue colored corset cami top, like that. And then the back is tied like this. I can feel that the quality is, you know, worth it. Um, it's also a kind of like a swimwear spandex material. And last but not least um, is swimwear. So I got two sets of swimwear this time. So the first set is this green strapless bikini with like a little ribbon design. The bottom is high waist. 
not a thong, but it's like a cheeky bag. Super stretchy, um, and the brand is Hansa G from London. It seems relatively safe to wear when you're actually gonna go swimming. Um, I've purchased some other bikinis back then, and yeah, it looks really nice in pictures, but I can't really run or swim in them without having to worry about it like sliding off. And the other one is also from Hansa G. It's a white one. So it's like a very basic white uh, cami top. And then the bottom, I think is the same. It's like a high waist, cheeky style. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.